Hello, this is 5 Minutes of Political Common Sense for America. I'm Brian Boheim, the political engineer. And today I want to talk about the fact that I don't believe we are learning from our mistakes. I'm getting more and more concerned that our political leadership is going to create another evil monster. I've seen it before. You've seen it before. History likes to repeat itself. But this time there's no excuse for our own failure to stop it. People tend to do stupid things when they feel there's just no hope. They choose irrational solutions that have a lot of unintended consequences. Whether whether it be Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold of Columbine, Timothy McVeigh of Oklahoma City, or Patrick Sherrill, the original going postal guy, there's a point at which people find themselves so devoid of hope that they snap. When they snap, they end up trying to take back control of their lives. And the way they do that is through an act of violence. Now, don't don't get me wrong. Not everybody snaps. But the ones who don't snap are still at risk. But this, this risk comes from leaders who will take them down a path that may even be worse. This has happened to whole countries. Germany, Soviet Union and Cambodia. Leaders took control because the people had become so beaten down that they looked at any glimmer of hope and ran towards it. The problem was, in all three cases, madmen, Hitler, Stalin, Pol Pot, were able to take control and lead them down a path of genocide and self-destruction. The U.S. hasn't avoided this insanity. We've had it right here. Just look at John Wilkes Booth trying to defend the, the Civil War, Black, the Black Panthers, and trying to deal with racial injustice, and the Weathermen trying to, to stop the Vietnam War. Have we already forgotten that the Civil War was as much about states' rights and taxes as it was slavery? And the response was secession and a, a war to end all wars in some cases. These brothers were killing brothers. Have we already forgotten that the federal government's inability to provide equal rights in the 60s motivated blacks to join the Black Panthers? And this group went out and assassinated police officers as a form of protest. Have we become so historically ignorant to the Kennedy, Johnson, and Nixon eras of government dishonesty that helped motivate the weathermen to declare war on the United States. They led the riots in Chicago in 1969 and a campaign of bombings throughout the 70s. If we continue down our current path of fear-mongering and repressive federal government antics, it's only a matter of time until some insane leader will take people down a path of irrational actions and unintended consequences. We've seen it before. History will repeat itself. We need to wake up and wake up fast. We need to convince our leaders that they need to change their tactics. We need to start electing people to office that have the American citizen's best interest at heart, start to solve the real problems like jobs and unemployment. And then and only then, us, that's right, us, the American citizens, can start having hope again, and we can prevent this kind of possible disaster from occurring. You've been listening to 5 Minutes of Political Common Sense for America. I'm Brian Boheim, the political engineer. And if you enjoyed what you just heard here, then go out and pick up a copy of my book, Political Common Sense for America. You can find it at Amazon.com. Until next time, be safe out there.